Dan, the 3D Printing Dad here, and I wanted to record a quick tutorial on how to do a multicolor print with a single nozzle using the custom pieces for the custom clock. So first I'm going to add one of the pieces from the Roman numerals clock. And there we go. Now if I were to just rotate this around, you'll notice that it really looks like just a flat piece there. So what I need to do first is I need to split this. Okay, and you'll notice there are actually two pieces here. So I'm going to delete one of these, and you'll notice that it actually has the Roman numeral one. Okay? If I do a slice on this one, you'll see in my preview that I actually have that Roman numeral. But you notice I also have my skirt there. So one of the things I need to do is I actually need to get rid of that skirt. So let's get rid of that. And back here, re-slice that, and you notice that now it is gone, which is what we really want. The other thing that I might suggest doing is that if you are able to do, is if you go to your layers, have the first layer be a 0.3 millimeters, and what that's going to do is that's actually going to make that first layer slightly thicker, and therefore your color is going to show a lot better. So do that slice again, and now if I want to, I can actually export that G-code to a file. And you're going to need to be able to organize these. Now, once I've exported the G-code, I can then add that piece back. We're going to do the same thing again. We're going to split those two. But this time, we're going to delete the number. So if I do that, you'll actually see the recess now in the piece. Slice this one. Go to the preview, and when I go down here, you shall see that we have that recess there. And then on the next layer up, you'll actually see the bridging as it goes over that number. And again, you want to keep your settings consistent. You'll want to have no skirt. You don't want to have any interference. It's less important on this piece here because it's not going to hit anything else. But that 0.3 layer, a 0.3 millimeter layer, is going to be an important one as well. So between those two things, I can save this G-code as well. And once I have those two files, if I print them in the correct order, I should be able to have a multicolor print with a single nozzle. You would want to, of course, print the Roman numeral first, and then the piece second, and there you go. So that, in a nutshell, is how you can do a multicolor print with a single nozzle with these custom pieces that are included in the custom clock models. Thank you very much.